Okay. So, what we have here is I have a magnitude of a vector v, and I have the direction of an angle u. And what I want to do is I want to create a vector v that's going to have a magnitude of 9, but then is also going to create the exact same direction as my vector u. But, but what we need to do, though, is we need to find the direction off of the unit vector of u. So do we have is direction, the, or the vector 2 comma 5, is that a unit vector? No, it's not a unit vector, right? Unit vectors have a magnitude of 1. So let's, double, let's, let's look at the magnitude of u. So remember, magnitude of u is going to be u1 squared plus u2 squared. All right? I don't need no card for this. You guys hopefully do enough practice of this, you guys will get it. So therefore, u1 is going to be the square root of 2 squared plus 5 squared. 4 plus 25 squared of 29, which we cannot reduce. Okay? So now we obviously know that this um, vector is not a unit vector, right? Because it has a magnitude of the square root of 29, which we cannot simplify. So how do we write it as a unit vector? Remember, a unit vector, unit vector is written as um, u divided by the magnitude of u. So let's write that in there. So I have 2 comma 5 over the square root of 29, which we can break into a vector as the vector of 2 over the square root of 29 comma 5 over the square root of 29. So that is now my unit vector u. That is my unit vector u. So if you guys look at it, I, whatever, let's just go back to our standard form. This now is my unit vector u, right? We found out the unit vector u. We found how far we needed to go over and how far we needed to go up to find the unit vector u, right? So if now that is my direction. So now I found the direction of the unit angle. So now if I just want to say it has to have a magnitude of 9, all I need to do is do 9 times now my u. So it's going to be 9 of 2 over the square root of 29 comma 5 over the square root of 29. You take whatever your vector is, right? That's your direction. Now you're just multiplying it by a magnitude of 9. Because you want to have to have the same direction as the unit vector. So first, you've got to find what the unit vector is. This is not a unit vector. So we found out what the unit vector was. Then we multiply it by 9. If you guys remember, how did we, in that last, in my, what I was doing with all the number stuff, what I was doing was we said our unit vector was cosine of theta, sine of theta for any unit vector, right? Mm -hmm. And well, in here, your unit vector is 2, 2 over square root of 9, and 5 over square root of 29. So those are your values of sine and cosine of your theta. And then we said multiply it by v, right? And then we just simplified that and all that kind of stuff. Yes? Why doesn't the, the 9 multiply by the radical 29? 9 over 1. Yeah, it's going to be in a numerator. So you multiply across. OK? Now, that's it for that. Um, if you guys want to play a little fun, that's, wait, that's it. That's if we just wanted to find.